Hello fellow internet user, social media addicts, and whoever stumbled upon this episode by mistake. Welcome to Orleans Rendezvous. Today I am at the Big Top Arena of Carnival City for the grand finale of Top Model South Africa. Now, it's an event that can be compared to the same magnitude as new president-elect Cyril Ramaphosa's State of the Nation address. A modern competition like no other, offering winning contestants an opportunity to travel overseas as well as potentially be scouted in London. Now, to win, you have to be on top of your game, think on top of your feet, and most importantly, have all the qualities it takes to be a top model. Join me on this episode as we find out how it all comes together. I'm Alyssa Majira and this is Top Model South Africa. I'm Nianka Brouwer and this is Top Model South Africa. Peter Klerk and here is Top Model SA 2018. Hi, I'm Sanjay Singh and I'm a finalist for Top Model South Africa 2018. You know what, we, we thought of bringing it to South Africa and I bought the license four years ago and our aim was just to you know, uplift the youth and also give them a platform for the future. Actuur. Schrijver, producer David Lau, welcome to our Lens Rendezvous. Ach, baie dankie. Is groot eer om hier te gesels. Ja. Ek wil jou hoor. Ja. Denk jy daar is sekere ooreenkomste in termen van discipline tussen modeling en acting? Verseker. Hoe kom ek het sê is um, met met acting um, moet jy nog steeds aan jou kraft kyk en um, jy moet werk daaran en jy moet so af en toe in gym kom, jy weet. En met met modeling um, it's precies hetzelfde. Dit is niet aan de kracht wat alleen werkt. Training, hard work. With modeling, you have to train, train, train the runway. Acting, you have to train, train, train your technique. You always have to be on top of your game. I want to ask you, what, in your opinion, do you think does it take to be a top model? Well, basically, to start off with, I would say be you. You have to. There's only one of you, and if you're good at that, then you're going to stand out to start off with. So the way you obviously handle yourself. Um, that's going to make you stand out of the crowd. In order to be a top human being, you need to live out the 10 major things about life. So you need to make sure that you are a good human being, make sure that you don't do anything wrong in terms of how other people will see you <laughs> or judge you. But it's not necessarily how people will judge you, it's just about being the best you can be. Because if you do that, I think people will really admire you um, because we find a lot of, and we see a lot of fake people out there. I think to be a top human being, you must just be yourself. You must just be generous and authentic and real. Me entering Miss South Africa has to be a highlight in my life. And of course, entering Top Model um, essay where I became the first runner up, yes. In 2015, it was the first year they had their competition. Yeah, so I'm like an original baby. <laughs> what do you think the new president-elect will mean for South Africa? I truly hope great things, um, but only time will tell. Uh, I am optimistic, definitely. Um, you know, our country has so much potential for growth, and it's the beginning of a new era for us. Oh, I think it's going to be fantastic. I think change is good. The whole country is excited. After all of this, we've just signed a very big deal with a big retailer, so I'm over the moon, so fantastic. I've always wondered that the Miss South Africa represents, you know, it's like a daughter of the nation and you represent kind of obviously our country. But what would you say to the contestants winning tonight going to represent South Africa in London? I think um, as South Africans we have this unique ability to connect to a diverse amount of people and that really is our strength. Um, and instead of trying to be that model that just fits in, rather be that model that stands out because you are able to connect and you are able to understand so many different cultures and religions and races. I think that the, the common misperception is that people think that models are idiots um, and are not stupid, which is not true, if I may say so myself. Um, there are a lot of models that are also students, there are a lot of models that earn big businesses, big companies, and that's an unfortunate misconception because of how you look. People put you in a negative light, and I think that as time has gone by, it's been swapped around because they've seen successful models like Chira Banks, and she's got a big production company. I mean, she runs America's Next Top Model. It's on its 22nd or 23rd season now. An and it's an em literally an empire. She's got her own beauty line yeah. and everything, you know. So she's, and she went to actually Harvard Business School. So you see, they are models that are super smart, <laughs> like Tyra Banks. 
Now, if you could give advice as a performer yourselves to the contestants behind the scenes, what would it be? Um, for me, for especially in a competition like this, to be the top model of 2018, I think always stay focused. What is it that you want? You know, if you are in the modeling industry or if you are in the sports industry, if you look at sports people, they know exactly what their next competition is that they would like to, to partake in. So always stay focused and make sure that you know where you want to go and what you want out of life and why you are doing it. In the theme of Top Model tonight, can you remember a time when you were on top of the world? I try to be on top of the world every day in my own mind because whatever you believe about yourself is what you're going to project into the world. So I think that's kind of my approach. And what do you say about expectations for the end of Top Model? I don't know what I've heard, I'm not sure what I'm This is my first time by Top Model. I don't know what it is. I see that it's... Duisende, duisende mooie dames wat hier loop. Ek voel soos, um, of ek wens, ek was die wijze Salomo, want hy het meer as een vrou gehad. I always say that my slogan in life is that um, do your best now and you'll reap the rewards later. To get something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. It's such a relief. Um, I've worked super hard to get here, but I'm super happy that I've made it this far. Um, I'm the winner and I'm extremely relieved. I feel like this is my final break that I'll be at you about um, and I'm just super super happy. That feels is top of South Africa. I stress now years. I in the ideal competition was I just rustic and good and to be safe again and I will here until win and now is it all stress for I will until win and good what and come. After walking, talking, strutting, smizing, there is no better way to end an evening in all smiles. A huge congratulations to winners Alexander and Melissa on your win and may you represent South Africa as always ending on top in London, UK. I want to especially thank Sun International, Leon Klute, Cruise Vodka, Effect Hair and Makeup Studio, Rudolf Dikatur, Burley Boys Media and of course Top Model for an exquisite evening. Remember to subscribe to my channel for future entertainment. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.